This is beautiful. Hey everyone, Arshaka here, welcome you back to Dark Cloud. In the previous episode, we finally got to Brown Boo Village, learned that we couldn't quite activate the moon ship yet because something is going on at the Sun Moon Temple. Got here, found a very mopey Oongaga, and uh, proceeded to go through floor one. So today's episode, I think we're gonna, I think we're gonna be going through at least two floors, possibly three. But look, I have a idea. Alright, I don't know how uh, possum it's going to be, but I fear that, you know, okay, we're, we've got halfway through the game, and I've been doing the format that we just do all the floors. I've realized that watching, uh, watching me go through all these floors can sometimes be very, uh, I don't know another word other than uh, monotonous, I guess? So I have a proposition for you guys. Whenever we go to a floor that has like a new enemy or some new like mechanic, like uh, like we have to use a new character or like whatever the case may be, so like, whenever there's anything new that we get to experience, I think I should show it. Other than that, though, if if, if there's something that's not new, I've been thinking that maybe maybe oh excuse you bomberhead, um maybe I should speed up and just like talk to you guys. I like to do voice. You are the rudest. You are the rudest. Rudy Matuti, Chalk Zone, get out of here. Um, so yeah, um, that was a bomber head. They are pretty much. They're gonna be like the jerks of Sun Moon Temple. Uh, no last episode, I was saying there aren't a whole lot of like headache enemies. Um, the Bombermans, Bombermans, <laughs> Bomberheads are one of the like few exceptions that I can kind of. To get a little irritating. However, if you play um, a ranged character, they aren't so bad. Also, what am I looking for? Water. There it is. Oop, there it is. Also, repair powder. Zone now, guys. What am I even doing with my life? Okay. Um. So I'm gonna try this out. Starting now, we will be fast forwarding. And if there's anything like funny or something I want to note, I will uh, slow down and show you guys. Other than that, though. Begin the speed up. Hey everyone, uh, post commentary Arch Saco coming to you live. Just want to say real quick, I've been playing a ton of Destiny the past week, and I just want to say, uh, whether you think the game is amazing or really bad, there's one thing you cannot argue with, and that's the fact that the soundtrack is absolutely amazing. So this episode is officially dedicated to listening to Destiny's soundtrack. Enjoy. Now, okay, I want to say, I don't know if this was just a Dark Cloud 2, oh, excuse you, sir. I don't know if it was just a Dark Cloud 2 thing, or if it happens in this game as well. But I know for sure in Dark Cloud 2, when you're fighting bomber heads, because they do make an they do make a return in Dark Cloud 2, um, when you fight them, um, if you get them to, I think it's like at least a quarter health or below, um, their head actually expands, and they start flying and try to chase you down like Suicide Bomb. and it's, it's really funny, and it's also uh, very freaky, and I, I was trying to show that, but I don't I don't know if that happens. Uh, for those of you who have played this game before, uh, comment please. Let me know if they actually do that in Dark Cloud 1, because I uh, legitimately don't know now. <laughs> so, anyway, back to the speed up. I don't know, also I have no idea why I just want to switch to Toen to use a key. Apparently, apparently cat girls just uh, ain't good enough to use them keys. They don't know Obama.
Alright, two floors in. I think it'd be in my best interest to leave uh, temporarily and stock up on stuff. Now, unfortunately, because we haven't done any of the Giorama stuff yet, we don't have a shopkeeper, so um, I will have to go back to... Uh, oh, we don't even have a rando, so I guess I'll go to Wise Owl Forest to stock up on stuff. Unfortunately, once rando leaves, uh, we don't really have a whole lot of options uh, in terms of, like, generic shopkeepers. We do have, like, the weapons guy, and we do have the... Oh, why did I go? Oh, no! No! Ah! We'll be the true American heroes, even though we're right near the door. Go outside! Yes. <laughs> That's how we do things Gary's way. By Gary, of course, I mean America, not the snail. Alright, so, uh, what do you guys say we do one more layer, and then we will call that good. Cool? Cool. Hmm. Guys, I'm telling you, bromance. Right here, right now. Come on, Ngaga. What's happened to you? I heard that Ngaga is the strongest warrior in the whole Muska Desert. Maybe he used to be, but no anymore. He wants to protect village. He no longer warrior. He weak now. Hmm. You know what? Being strong in on the battlefield and being truly strong as a person aren't the same. Are they now? What do you think of Toen? The one who's with me? What do I think? I do not understand. I sense something very strong from that person. Like a will. A power deep within him. In his heart. I don't know exactly what it is. Yes. Toen strong. I weak. Oh boy. Gonna set it better myself, Liam. <laughs> what a crybaby. What a, what a little what a little pity party. Little pitter patter. Little 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 bit of bat. I got nothing, guys. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Mm -hmm. ah. Anyway, <laughs> nice little like heartwarm. Well, I don't know if you can call it heartwarming, but nice little uh, aside with Theo and Ungaga. Uh, so anyway, back to the speeding up, although, if I'm not mistaken, uh, there actually might be a new enemy, so uh, we might actually hold off for a little bit. Cool? Cool. And who's up? Who's your mama? Oh, uh, I hope you're not my mama, Bomberhead. Man, Bomberman, you have really let yourself go. I mean, uh, who would have thought that you'd have it in you to side with the forces of evil, you know? Uh. Some people, you know, you, you look at them, you're like, man, I, I never knew that you could change that way, but there they are, stabbing you in the back. They're like an old friend going off to Chicago for a weekend, come back and find that they've been come addicted to the good old drugs and the, the, the poop, and then they come and they're like, yo, can I borrow 20 bucks? And you're like, oh yeah, sure, I mean, I do trust you because you're my old friend, but then you give the button of money to them, and then they escape back to Chicago, and you never hear f from them again for three years. Richard, I will never forget. I mean, what? I... I'm sorry, I just didn't, I didn't mean to make this personal. Also, um, as you can see, bomber heads are very weak to fire, uh, as evidenced by how much, or I guess like how less damage I was doing compared to when uh, Ruby's attribute was fire. Here we go. These guys are the fun ones. Actually, I think I'm going to keep Ruby out for this one. Golems are kind of like the dragons from uh, Divine Beast Cave, uh, in the sense that they are kind of redonkadonkalously difficult. Oh, uh, not even, like, really difficult, just really strong. Like, I mean, Ruby is probably, like, one of the most powerful people we have on our team. And look how much she's doing with her charge attack. I mean, this guy has a crap ton of HP. The bonus is that he gives a lot of experience. So, uh, Ruby, I'll go ahead and repair that. Bada-boom, bada-bing, speaking of bada-boom, bada-bing. Uh, bada-bye, Mr. Man. Ha-ha-ha, <laughs> you see what I did there. Uh, so anyway, I think... I think that is the only new enemy for this area. Uh, so once again, I will go back to speeding up. Oh, oh what? I call shenanigans. I call shenanigans.
Alright, well we made it through three floors, uh, definitely comment below and let me know what you think of this new format. Um, if it's something that you guys liked and you know kind of liked how it kind of sped up the more monotonous parts of the game, uh, I will definitely keep doing it. If not, uh, well that kind of sucks, um, <laughs> I'm just kidding. If not, I will definitely go back to how the rest of the LP has been going so far. Um, so anyway, that's gonna be it for the day. Thanks for watching me play, and I will see you guys for the next episode when we have a very special treat in store for us. By very special treat, I mean lots of pain and possibly lots of chub. Till then, see you guys next time.